Hello guys and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Lost Castle 2, the demo. So this is an action roguelike, uh, very similar to kind of the old school arcade beat-em-ups. I don't know if you guys ever played the Simpsons beat-em-up uh, on the arcade. Maybe, probably not. Kind of like that. Uh, you play as, you get to choose your character, you get to pick up a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is the sequel to the original that came out quite a few years ago. I have played a little bit of that, but not a lot. So we'll have to go through the tutorial. Uh, so we can just select out face and head, different hairstyles, of course. Um, we just got to go with classic. Classic head. I always like making my characters uh, old men, wizards, if you will. I, I guess we don't get a full beard. That's probably the best we're going to get. Yeah, okay, cool. So, when I. Yeah. Go, that's nice. I mean, we could have just gone for a preset, but. Uh, whatever. So this is. Uh, let's change our eyebrow color because it's kind of annoying. Also, we'll change to a blue. Because okay, cool. Uh, what's your name? Oh, we'll call ourselves Arcane. Am that? Yes. A little bit of customizable, uh, customizability. You can make your own character. This does have multiplayer. Uh, I'm not sure if the demo has multiplayer, but the final game does have multiplayer. So customizing your character will allow you to do that. And as I said, this is a roguelike. So we do have things like upgrading your cam to get different uh, heroes, different weapons, different etc. So here we are, we have uh, our giant hammer and uh, we can talk to the characters. So we're a rookie hunter, not the administrator, very much like the hunter's uh, handler. Okay. I'd like to see the current expedition re records. Okay, there is none. This guy is in charge of building, as you can see, Armstrong. camp upgrade so yeah we can start here and start upgrading but don't have access to any of that at the moment have enough money even though it has a weird little thing uh, so we could come over here with the shop uh, so you can pick up and choose different stuff so we could have a giant turbo lance that sounds way cooler Alchemist pets. Got a little dash there. Throw that. We've got X's attack. Holding X is an overload attack. And we have right bumper, which releases the cannon. So you come over here, and this is this is where we start. Go to the Black Forest. So the point of this game is to you kind of go through all the levels until you hit the end boss and basically win. But it is kind of like a, a rogue-like area. So you have kind of different areas that you need to go into. There's some goblins there. What does this do? Okay. I don't think we'll be able to, to do that. We've got A is a dash. That hit me. Right. And then we can ignite our sword. Okay, I, I see how this is working. Uh, so everything has attacks. I'll press the drink. Got a dodge potion. I mean, we got to pick this up, right? 
dismantle all this. This should give us some stuff to buy and things. So mo monster occupied area. Area. That basically means monsters. So we have a swing. We have a charge swing. We have a slash. And then we have a charge slash. And move like this. Oh wow, we're doing a lot more damage. Very like barbarian style. Okay, so down in the the bottom there we have our fuck you. We have our charge bar and we can charge normally, but we can also charge while attacking. Kind of like a hit meter. It's kind of cool. Let's see if we can throw that. Doesn't give us anything. But could be anything in here. Ooh, so these are treasures, which are kind of like our traits. Press the available treasure when given the opportunity. So we can either take this. And attach it to something. So we can choose a weapon. Evil Ritual Sword, which is way better than what we have, or Gleaming Staff. So we decided to pick the weapon up, and then I guess we'll take this. Now we can do a challenging area, which why not? We've been pretty been pretty good at the moment. What is that? That guy's big. Oh my god, okay. And we can use right trigger to do our um, special ability. But it costs mana. Forty six seconds shit. Thirty four seconds, go. We did it. We had thirty seconds to go. We are so good at this game. We also have left trigger, makes us jump. So you can do stuff in midair. You there are things that you have to kill. They're in midair. So we have Goldman level ar leather armor. High armor, cool. Gives us speed. Probably better than anything that we have. Yep. Another rune. Chaos rune stone. After being picked up according to the hunter's wish, a chaos rune will transform into a red, green. Basically, we gotta choose what we're gonna do. So strength damage, range damage, magic. I'm not sure if that's how it is, but Okay, so this gives us gives us a random one. So this gives us a, a keys rune, rune which is two attack. But we don't need that. So let's cursed arena. Let's go to the cursed arena. So this game is difficult. Um, I may be making it look easy. But I only got hit once, I think, and I have no HP. Okay, drink my health potion. Oh, we're so low. Gotta be so careful. Run away! So the health potion is not like a normal health potion, it actually requires you to hold it. I wonder if that's a special sign you need to remember. Maybe. Okay, so we got a bunch of money? Who knows? Who knows what that does? I was just wondering why I'm taking damage. Uh, I'll take it down. Why that? I seem to be... Maybe you only regenerate HP. 
Get out of there. You're not taking damage or when you're not attacking. There are some combos you can do. No, I'm not very good with combos yet. That's worse. On successful hit, there is a 50% increased crit. Okay. Um, but we might as well dismantle it. Gotta get all that thing. Safe area, resupply, ready yourself. Um, soul exchange, huh? But we don't really need. Even though we don't have a HP potion. Okay, we got some we got some dudes. What are you doing here? Collecting soul crystals? Basically, they're out shop. Use iron to upgrade. Cool. So those that's how much it costs, I guess. Any excess recovered alchemy elixir will convert into proportional HP recovery. Dodge is slightly bigger. I'm gonna buy that because that sounds cool. I'm gonna hit this to refresh. What is that? Lost puppet costume. I'm going to buy that. Can I not buy it? Oh, I just have to tap it. My bad. Dismantle. I don't like the lance. Yeah, so I'm just going to upgrade what we have. No, I'm not. It costs way too much. <laughs> um, this is our upgrade. Crit rate plus eight, that's pretty good. My HP is below and we'll get another stat upgrade. 15 and we'll keep the rest. So we're gonna fight our boss now. Oh my God. He, that's certainly a hairstyle. The Goblino champion, right. Okay, this is radio silence because I gotta make sure I'm winning. You get stuck. That was the wrong button. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't roll backwards, I rolled to the bottom right. So that's our adventure over, but we'll get to see kind of what happens after you die. So like I said, game is hard, um, but we did get some money, which means we can upgrade a bunch of stuff. And also, you know, we start with different stuff. I don't know what that is. Come over here. Use to upgrade the blacksmith shop. You can also fix the alchemist hut and the statue. The base attack increased by one. Base speed. This is where the roguelike mechanics come in. We can get max HP here. Max elixirs, which is pretty good because that's your heal. Uh, and then, yeah. I kind of want to go... Damn. Have some elixir and let's get some attack. We can talk to these guys, I guess. So that's an elf blacksmith. Interesting. And it looks like they have a bell for a face. Okay. If you need to use this device, you can open it. Okay, so we can choose three prepared weapons, at least three. So if we don't want to see two-handed and the turbo lace uh, mace anymore, we can get rid of those. And now we'll only get these ones. That, that's a cool thing. We can change hunter gear. So right now we have the jumping shoes. 
So it's kind of kind of our gear, different things. It allows us to jump. Uh, and you can have a bomb. I gotta go with the bomb. Okay, you are a blacksmith. So yeah, saw that. Um, let's go with bow and arrow. Get the dinosaur. That alchemist, I'm pretty sure he's gonna tell us that. Okay. We can upgrade his heart so we can make ourselves stronger. Nice. And a goblin stylus. So I'm guessing this guy allows us to change our car calendar. Change our character. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we do, you know, we will eventually unlock different styles of characters. Uh, but right now, the weapon kind of determines how you fight, which I think is cool. Okay, let's go in there. Preparation area. What's up, dude? Old hunter. Could give us some skills. Boss shoot three times. Okay, so this I guess just kind of the tutorial. Okay, we we can't change our direction when we Uh, when we shoot. Drink. Attack goblins or long press. Drink concentration point. So that's basically just a weapon training. We don't need to do that next time. Throw this at these guys. I do like the animations. That's cool. It seems like we have a bar at the bottom really hurt. When the bar's full, we get a different... What is this? Money. Oh. Okay. Yep. Soldier's uniform. Why not? Running shoes. And... Get another bow. This bow has aerial shots as it's different. Curse. So the curse is kind of like a staple. Before cleaning this area, use each dodge will cost five percent. That that's really dangerous. Okay, so our right trigger lets us do a, a dive. I wonder if that didn't attack. Hard brass bow. I did forget to upgrade uh, dismantle. I should. We can have a mercenary mage handbook. Skill power increase. So each level we do, the more skill power we get. Destroyed. Maybe he's not a treasure goblin. Well, he is a treasure goblin, but, but maybe he's not. Um, like a special, like a Diablo treasure goblin. 
And this is gonna make like killing bosses easier, but it makes killing normal mobs harder. Ooh, what's this? Four leaf clover. Epic treasure drop rate plus 15%. Ooh. But if we have five in all stats, we get the legendary. That's a really, really unique drop. This guy is just jamming out. I think he makes everyone attack faster. No, don't tell me there's another one. I need a bit more oomph in my shot, I reckon. Something that's really good. We got here. Identify potion. Uh, thunders will randomly generate around you. Cool. Cool. You get to press B on Both armor gives us a plus 10 curse challenge arena. I would like to see um, so that thing that we picked up or the, the potion that we drank is actually like detrimental to us. actually gotta like damage us if we get hit by it and that's just kind of like you don't know what you gotta get it's kind of like trial and error you gotta test shit see if you want it I'm not dead Oh, that was very close. Oh, we got like a golden chest. Or if that's the best type of chest. A damage of X attack increased. Sure. More and more attacks. Uh, let's go to the shop. Yeah. But we'll go to the shop. And then we will. Still wishing a bunch. We can get something for free. Pack plus three. That sounds pretty good. Like that. Chaos Stone. Reroll. What is this? Oh. So this stuff is giving us. These things are giving us runes as well. It's not just like a, a one off. And we can choose another rune. Let's go for that. Ooh, I do have enough. It's better. I won. But this has crit rate, so it's not better. Okay, finally we can fight the boss again. And maybe, maybe we'll get to defeat him. Okay, I threw my bomb down and it did damage to me. Okay, this is not looking good. Can we drink? We throw. We got this. It's half HP. Don't like how he can turn on a dime. Yes. Destroyed. So we got a bunch of treasures for that because I guess more and more goblin stuff. And a bunch of stuff. Champion's token. Black ore. The blacksmith will want that. Mutated hair. Akimi mix unlocked. Cooking utensils. That's a sword and board. 
boss treasure chaos okay so here we can have some legendary stuff uh the less current hp the more additional energy is gained okay would feed an energy trigger rune slash thundering attack that's kind of cool Zills up to 20 HP with each activation of Runequake. Does it tell me? You know what? I'm going to refresh the treasures. Because maybe we get something. Every 9 attacks triggers a Rune Slash once. Every 5 activation of Rune Slash triggers an additional Rune Slash. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. This uh, gains Potion. Oh, wait, should dismantle these. Now we can go to the next area, which means we can fill our alchemy and drink up. We talk to this guy, find some interesting stuff. We can also change our hunter gear, which is kind of cool. You can change it out through different levels. What is this? Some kind of village, maybe? The dark forest, uh, abandoned village. Let's see if we can deal damage. We're doing poison. Okay, we got some little zombies. Maybe poison is not good for these guys. Yeah, I don't really see the, um, the rune slash happening. Yeah, that guy looks interesting. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe I'm just treasure motivating mushroom goblin horn. He's successful attack. The dodge costs us HP in this one. Not too difficult. Oh, there it is. So it doesn't actually appear. It just like shows up as damage. Ouch. Oh my god. Oh, I drink again. I've forgotten. See, that does so much damage. That's where this game, like, the original game was pretty hard. Uh, especially when you play with like a bunch of people and I can't dodge Yeah, okay. did take a little bit of damage there red runestone pretty good as you can see it's kind of like a dead spell uh, dead cells type thing where if you have high enough things like stats oh Oh my god, that hit me for so much damage. If you have high enough stats, it changes the way certain items are. Kind yeah, cool. But I think that is a good kind of... We got to the first boss. We got a bunch of interesting stuff. A bunch of treasures. Yeah, I think that's uh, a nice way of looking at it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This was... Lost Castle 2 the demo. So again, the demo does not mean it's representative of anything final. But yeah, uh, very cool. Kind of interesting. If you like that roguelike kind of arcadey beat em ups, it's pretty good for you. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.